scams, lawsuits, and just burning the cash is the punchline for cryptocurrency in 2023. Before we get into all that hot and juicy mess, let's go ahead and jump over to Coin Market Cap, and we're gonna hop hop and see what what really happened with ETH today. So we got Bitcoin at up. What what? Big numbers today. Almost 3% at about 2.5. We have ETH hanging out at a little less than 3%, but we are still down, down, down for the week. Seven days made a comeback down a little bit less than half a percent on Bitcoin, about a quarter. Then we have Ethereum just getting that knockout due to the Hinman papers at 6.6, baby. That is not good. But we got a little rally going on today. Maybe some of these articles we go over in the next couple minutes will will give us a little insight into into what's happening there. Coin market cap. Good to see we got Pepe. Yeah, my buddy Pepe, the frog, leading at 7.5%. So let's jump over to the charts real quick, see what's happening. So as I mentioned, we do got this nice little pump going on. Look how pretty this little pump is. Pump, pump, pump it up. If you haven't checked out that new Arnold series on Netflix, go watch it. He is the house. So we're hanging out at 26. Yeah, 26 and bounced off of the resistance line and we're bumping up. Probably going to touch 27 again. We touched it here. It was the resistance turned into support, bounced out, blew through 28 and hit up at 31 before kind of trickling down. Not confirmed reversal getting rejected by the 21 day moving average. We are gonna get into some of the news right now. Let's see what's happening with the news. So Bitcoin dips below 25K as Fed takes hawkish tone after pausing interest rate hikes. Good, we're pausing some of the interest rate hikes, but that inflation is still scorching. On to the next one. We have the crypto giant Binance US affiliate fire staff after SEC charges. Wow. Affiliates of crypto giant Binance has carried out a round of layoffs since regulators last week charged it with violating securities laws and sought to freeze its assets, said two people with knowledge of the dismissals and employees of social media. So Binance is clearing house. Hey, if you're cooking those books, you better get that chef out the kitchen, right? And the last one on the radar for today, got them hackers attacking cryptocurrency. Ransom hackers and scammers utilizing cloud mining to launder cryptocurrency. Ransomware actors and cryptocurrency scammers have joined national state actors in abusing cloud mining services to launder digital assets and new finding reveals. I don't think this is anything revealing. We all know there's scammers in cryptocurrency. This one, whoa, shocker, out in North Korea. Didn't see that coming. They never hack U.S. or mining or cryptocurrency like they are yeah come on that's ridiculous of course that's what they do that's their economy right <clears throat> this includes 19.9 million from four ransomware wallets addresses and 14.1 million from three mining pools with a significant chunk of the fund routed via a network intermittently wallets and pools scammers be scamming right that's the cryptocurrency in a nutshell for today that's all i got for you until next time as always i'm rick crypto bye